Hello, Shining Ones. Meg is here on a beautiful day in Asha. If you're brand new to the channel, we're Zoroastrians. We are the Magi. And today I want to answer questions that you guys have been asking. You have a lot of the same uh, questions in common. And so I, we're, we're going to talk about, uh, is there a devil? Right? I get that a lot. Um, is there hell? And so I'll, I'll tell you what the Zoroastrian texts say and how I interpret it and see it. Um, oh, another thing I, I, I want to touch on is, uh, yesterday's video. It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Uh, but that was something you guys had in common. You wanted me to talk about the Israel and Hamas war. I highly disliked making that video, <laughs> you know? Oh my gosh. It was awful to watch. If you didn't see it, it's up to you if you want to see it or not. Uh, but it needed to be said. You know, and so I'm going to leave it at that. Next thing is I just sent off a check yesterday to St. Jude. Uh, our, our book, Asha, is back in print. And you guys know this since the beginning. We take all the money from book sales, give it to charity. I already sent off a check yesterday uh, to St. Jude. So excited. Um, what else? Oh, Go, please make sure you go and leave your review uh, on Amazon because that's videos I want to make is reading your guys' reviews and what Asha has meant to you. So, I, But I need you guys to do that. Go leave more reviews. Uh, so let, let's talk about the devil and hell and all these things. Uh, but first to understand that I think you need to understand what I believe God is. And, and for me, you know, and, and use your own discernment and, you know, but, but for me, from my 53 years of life, what I feel is God is a force of good. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't see him anymore, like I did when I was younger, as a guy in the sky. And I have stories to back this up. Uh, but, but just from what I've seen, like I, I, I've seen, well, I don't want to talk about it, but I've seen ugly things. And if there was a guy in the sky, he could have stopped it. Uh, but that never happened, you know, and not just things that people learn the lessons from, but, you know, things like uh, a dog walking out into the street or something it has, you know, just, and just suffering and things that we see in the world that has nothing to do with teaching someone a lesson or a lot of things I've heard. Uh, but from my own experience, listen to this. This is important to see this of tapping into that God force. So um, I, I have a prophetic gift that at one time I actually asked God to take it away from me because it was too much because I didn't understand how to work in it. I, I, you know, if you see something awful that's going to happen in the future and then it happens and it's horrible and then you have to live with that. So, so not only is that bad, but now you had to live with it for however long before you even that event even happened. You had the prophecy. So I would just live with it and it was heavy on me. It's like, I don't need to see this. That that horrible thing is going to happen. Now I'm thinking about it till it happens. But I didn't understand. You can change it, my friends. And oh my God, there's so much we I could tap into this. You, you know, uh, about how that works. How do we see outside of time and space and that, that linear time that we're used to? And the best example I heard is think of like a post in a river. And uh, as the water's flowing down and it hits that post, it makes ripples back up into the river that, that you can sense, right? You can see and sense before you actually get to the event. And so if a vent is big enough and making enough of a stir, you, you pick up on that energy and you read it. And then you, what I've learned is, okay, I need to change that. I'm not just going to say, oh crap, that's awful and live with it. Spirit was showing me, I gave you this gift to do something about it, change it. It's going to happen if everything keeps lining up like it is. Do something. And I thought, well, why don't you do something, right? I told you that story uh, of when my friend was going to get uh, abducted in that carload of men. And Spirit God came to me and said, do something. You pray. And so I, I prayed in my spirit language and they froze like statues and she got away. And you guys know the story. Uh, but I, I was in my mind, I was like, God, why didn't you just do it? Right? Because that's when I still thought of him as a guy in the sky. What are you telling me about? Why are you asking me to pray? You're God, right? You freeze them like statues. You, you save her, 
right? But it's a force of good, not a guy in the sky. And he works through us in this environment, in this earth, in this, in this form and matter. It's spirit. It's energy. And those men in that car were evil spirit energy in form and matter. And I am a, a, a God man holding that spirit, right? And I have to speak out my spells. And my friends, we change form and matter. My God, I froze people like freaking statues. I love that story. My, my, my son, you know, you guys know the story where I, I heard weeks before something bad was going to happen to one of my kids. I'm telling everyone, I know it, right? And then that morning, uh, I was taken in spirit. And God put me at the bottom of the driveway and had me put up a shield of faith. You know, I shared this story. I didn't know what a shield of faith faith was. He had to walk me through it. And I pray, prayed in my heavenly language. I saw this force field blocking the driveway from the street. My ex-wife called later and told me the story. My son was going down on a scooter, bounced off of an invisible wall right before a car would have hit him. I got that weeks earlier because, again, that stream, that time hitting this um, this event, right? And I picked up on it. And instead of just saying, oh, well, oh, crap, life sucks, I, I changed it. My friends, that's the Magi magic. And we tap into that force of good that, that we come from, we are made of, it is us. It's not a guy in the sky watching little doggy and puppies get hit in the road, watching people suffer and die of diseases and pain. It's not just some guy. This isn't some Greek mythology bullshit. My friends, we're talking about pure, perfect perfection, pure light. Not one of these mixed gods. Oh, man. Stay in it, Magus. I almost went off on one of my rants. We're talking about the true God. That is pure light that darkness cannot enter. That pure love that all, all, all that death and suffering, it can't live in if we will embody it. But, but we've come into a habit of embodying those evil spirits. We want to be unforgiving because we were hurt. We want justice. We want them on their knees begging our forgiveness. We want to feel that injustice. We, we, we want that revenge. We say we don't, but we like that hate. Sometimes it's the only thing that gets our foot in front of the other foot moving every day. What they did to me gives me strength. But you find out. That's not the energy you want to be running on because it'll turn you into one of those monsters. You'll find yourself doing things and saying things, destroying your own health, your own family. When you come home, instead of bringing that atmosphere of peace and love and God good, they're all, oh shit, dad's home. All right, let's just go to our room, play video games, right? You're, 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 you got that wrong energy, that wrong God. And here's the rub. I'll touch on it a little bit. I don't want to get off on it. But most people call that lower frequency the highest principle God good that they know with their different names. It don't matter the name. I'm not trying to pick on anyone. But it's the spirit behind the name. If they call it a Jehovah, a Allah, a Shiva the Destroyer, whatever gods, you know. If that energy behind it is vengeful, angry, warring, killing, Sending disease. It's not, it's, it's what Zoroastrians would call the devil. It's worse when they're mixed. I'd like it better when they just separate it. This is good. This is evil. When it gets all muddled, that you got these gods that uh, love and hate, right? Peace and war. Uh, you know, uh, send disease, kill the firstborn but can also heal. It's just, it's very confusing. And it was constructed that way to keep you confused, my friends. But but just know the original religion is just a good God. And it's that force that if we'll take it into us, I mean, nothing's impossible for you. There's a reason that the word magic was named after the Magi, because we live good, peaceful, powerful, free, alive, 
doing that. You know, it makes me sad for others, but, you know, their kid would have got ran over by a car. Being a Magi, my kid lived. Praise God. My friend didn't get thrown in a car, raped and murdered, because I tap into that right force. And so many people... They're, they're, where's their Jehovah's? Where's their Allah's? Where's their Shiva, Shiva's? They're right with you, right? Right? They're, they're murderous, hateful, angry, killing gods. You probably pissed them off. You must have been masturbating or had a bad thought or didn't give enough money to your church or, you know, you did something to piss them off. And so you're going to suffer, right? And then they just think, well, I'm learning a good lesson. I'll be a better person. Right. If they even get that far, a lot of people just think, well, God was angry at me. And so he just killed his son. And now I don't even have to change. I mean, I say I'm trying to, but but really, I'm still going to go out and drink. And I'm still going to run around on my wife and I'm still going to do But I'm going to kneel beside my bed and say, God, I'm so sorry. Forgive me in Jesus name. That is not true repentance. If, if in your heart, you're not thinking I will never do that again. I am disgusted by that. I will never touch that again. That's not true repentance, but you're thinking you don't need to, right? Jesus paid the price. I love Jesus, but Jesus has been misrepresented so bad. Jesus would not be a Christian, I promise you. Anyway, let's get back to it because people want to know, is there a devil? So my thinking is, uh, it, you know, the devil if, is just uh, the bad force, the dark force it's the opposite of or or the lack of good like if you don't have good if you're not in good what's left it's evil it's bad right if you're not in the light right you come out of the light what's around it's just darkness right if you're out of the truth there's the lie and illusion it's just it's the opposite of or it's the lack of good it's a lack of god it's not a person again with horns and a pitchfork, just plotting how to screw you over, right? It's just a consequence of holding the wrong energy. You hold anger, anger is going to come to you. It's resonance. You hold violence, violence will come to you. It's all about resonance. You're attracting it in because that's what you vibrate. That's your frequency. Or you could say you're God or you're devil or whatever you want to call it. And so that's why it's so important. Asha 10 tells us, check our energy. Is it all good? Right? A lot of us like that mix because we're mixed. We don't want to feel bad about it. You're not supposed to feel bad about it. You knew when you came into a form and matter, into time and space, you saw with the God mind and God eyes your life from beginning to end. You knew you were going to be born in a body that in your very DNA from grandma and grandpa, there were going to be addictions and perversions and anger and violence right? You, you didn't think, you know, well, I'm not going. You, you said, okay, I understand that it's going to be in me. It doesn't make you a filthy sinner, right? It makes you a freaking hero that you are going to come in, take that on, and then transmute it with your light and your truth, and then leave a better world for the generations to come, better DNA for your kids and their kids. So when they're coming into the world, looking in there, all, hey, that ain't as bad as it used to be, Thank you, Grandpa Magus, <laughs> right? And so it's all about energy and frequency and forces, not guys in the sky. So I hope that that helped. One thing I want to touch on, if anyone's still with me, I'm going into Papa Magus mode now. I just found my new favorite book. And I'm going to talk more about it, but I just want to touch on it here at the end for the people that even care to hear what I think about my favorite book. Of course, my favorite book will always be obviously Asha, but it's more than that. It, that Asha is my soul, right? It's it's what I am. It's my family of light, my magi, it's everything. So that's different. I'm talking about entertainment books. And forever, it was Oscar Wilde and uh, The Picture of Dorian Gray. Oh my God, you know how much I love that book. I never thought I'd find another one that I love more. Circe by Madeline Miller. I think it's just uh, the time it reached me. And the writing is beautiful prose, just like Oscar Wilde's, how they, they really think about the words that they're putting together, like poets. It's beautiful. And then, you know, it's about Greek mythology. And again, it's, you know, we need better names because they shouldn't even be called gods. You know, I think about Socrates. 
he was put to death because he said that those gods shouldn't be called gods because they're not good, right? And so they put him to death because they said that he, he was you know, destroying the minds of the youth and society by, by talking bad against the gods. I need you to see this. I'm going somewhere with this. And so they put him to death for that. And, and uh, but, but the gods here, he's right. He's, just like Socrates said, they're tricksters. They, they have no empathy. Right, right. When when they punish uh, Prometheus for bringing knowledge to the humans, I mean, it was an eternal punishment. They they have no feeling of oh, geez, that's enough. I feel sorry for him. They they don't feel that. They're not like humans. And uh, you you know, and what I loved about this book is it shows how beautiful being a human is. What we are is it's better than the gods that we call it, you know, and again, I, coming back, I, I use the word God because we all understand it, but it's, it's it's that force of God that is my God, right? It's that pure spirit that I'm talking about, not not what we consider gods. Uh, let's put, a, even though they say big G's, I, I'm talking little G's, just the wrong ideas of gods, but I want you to see this. So, so Socrates was actually put to death, and in his world and his earth, these gods were real, Enough that the government would put him to death and the society's, you know, mad at him. Those gods were real. But look how they're gone now. Do you lose sleep at night in fear of those uh, Greek mythology gods? No. And it's the same with your Jehovah's and your Allah's and your Shiva's. You take away all their power when you stop believing in them. And you find out they're not real. They're not true. The truth is all good. And if you look for spirit instead of names and stories, but you'll go inside to that divine spark, that fravashi, that soul inside of you, you can attune to where you came from and who you truly are, that all good God, that all good spirit. And you'll know it. It's just good. And you have to be honest with yourself. What God do you hold, no matter what name you call it? Is it all good? Is it all bad? Is it mixed? Your life will reflect it, and the consciousness you take to the next world will reflect it. I'm going to read Asha 10 one more time, just that last paragraph, because I think it's important. So again, ask yourself, what energy am I really? What vibration, feeling, frequency, God do I hold? That's what will manifest in your world. That's the consciousness you will take to the next world. So find God, the highest principle of good, now. Don't wait, guys. Forgive who you need to forgive. Love who you need to love. Let that, that, that transmutation take place first in you. Then you'll see it in the world. Be love, be peace, be joy. Now, today is the day of salvation. Envelop yourself in God's idea. I am love. I am life. I am peace. I am joy. I am one with God. And evil cannot enter me, right? That darkness cannot come into my light. That evil cannot come into my good. That hate, fear, greed, violence cannot enter this atmosphere, this temple. Live consciously. Good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. I love you guys. Be blessed, and we'll see you next time.